Hello, today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to get shaders working on reshade uh, when you have missing shaders or when you want to add new shaders to your reshade installation. Uh, the game that we're going to test is called Verlet Swing. As you can see, the director of the game has uh, there's no reshade installation. Also, reshade is not present uh, present on the game itself. So we're gonna go to the reshade.me site and we're gonna download it uh, I have it right here already so if I double click it it's gonna open the installer we're gonna click on browse uh, we're gonna click on the verted swing directory install it as normal click on next it's a direct text 10 game uh, I'm gonna click on next this is to install a preset and right here we have the shaders uh, repositories the packages that you can download those are not all the, the the packages that you can download but those are the curated ones with most of the stuff that you're gonna need or if you want for example to learn how to do stuff uh, there's a bunch of shaders here that kind of teach you how to do stuff so we're gonna just click this one to speed the process and we're gonna click next and it's gonna download all the effects and if you go to the game folder you can see that we have this new folder right here the reshade shaders folder uh, fin the installation finished uh, we have the reshades folder the reshade shaders folder and here you can see we have all the shaders that we downloaded and it's textures that we are going to need and if you launch the game again you're gonna see we have reshade we have the tutorial and we have all the shaders so what happens from uh, sometimes when you download a preset or you let me just mute the game real quick uh, you download a preset or you move your game installation and the reshade shaders folder just isn't there so for example I'm gonna just cut that shader out I'm gonna create a it's gonna paste it here in another game folder uh, come on where that swing Let's create a new folder and backup it's called backup so if I move all those shaders it's gonna move the shader uh, folder right here you can see there's no reshade shaders folder anymore and if we reload the game you're gonna see there's no shaders here it's empty and sometimes when you move uh, when you lose the reshade.ini file as well if we delete it and reload you're gonna see on our settings page there's uh, there should be just a dot and a dash here it's gonna look something like this a dot and a dash yeah. So and even if we reload uh, the reshade, it's not gonna bring up the shaders that we need. So to fix that issue, uh, let's pretend this folder doesn't exist anymore. So we're gonna go to our trusty reshade uh, Discord. We're gonna type wiki, and it's gonna bring up uh, the PC gaming wiki page of reshade. And on this page, you can just go to this link as well I'm gonna leave it this link on the description of of the video if we scroll down we're gonna see the known shade repositories and here it's linked a bunch of uh, repositories that have different shaders you can see a little brief description of the the shaders what they do and for example let's download the reshade shaders one the sweet effects those are the ones that we downloaded on the starter and let's get one that is not on the installer this brings some one so we're gonna here come here to the github page um, this is crosshires repositories so this, those are the basic shaders that come with free shade i'm gonna click on code and download zip same with cj that's the sweet effects uh, repository and download zip and we're gonna go to brimzone this is leflarians and we're gonna download zip as well and right here on our downloads folder you can see we have the reshades reshade shaders sweet effects and this is the bring some one uh, the reshaders and you're gonna go to our game folder we're gonna create a new folder folder we're gonna create name it reshade dash shaders 
we're gonna go inside the folder we're gonna create a new folder so it's going to, and we're gonna call it shaders and we're gonna create another folder we're gonna create it name it textures textures okay and inside the shaders folder we're gonna grab our zip files i'm gonna go to the main one first a uh, really important note is that this uh, crosshire uh, repository with reshade shaders it includes the some very important files those are the reshade.fxh and reshadeui.fxh most uh, shaders need those two files to work so that's why it's the default uh, shader repository that reshade downloads because of those two files those are the header files that do all the weird maths that most shaders rely on to work so we're gonna grab this one i'm gonna gra grab that zip file we're gonna move it to our uh, shaders it's the game folder reshade shaders and shaders we're gonna copy the, all of those and just drop it here and same with the textures i'm gonna see there's two textures i'm gonna go to the textures folder and just drop the two textures right here so if you go back to the game and click on reload nothing's gonna happen why because in our settings we have uh we didn't set the reshade shaders and textures paths and see effects search path so you're gonna click on the minus and on the minus when then we're gonna click on the plus button again and it's gonna bring like a little explorer window you can either do that and navigate to your shaders folder click on select and same with the textures click on select or you can just click here and paste in the path of the folder on our case you're just gonna click on the blank space right here on the uh, on the direct directory path <laughs> and we're gonna copy it and we're gonna click on plus and just overwrite this one if you have a different folder if you if you want to do a, like a centralized uh, reshade shaders installation and yeah I'm just gonna go to the home screen and click on reload and our shaders should be back here you can use oh yeah it's missing a textures uh, texture for the UI that's fine and uh, you can see the display depth and the band and the Dalton eyes and everything. So we are done with the uh, with uh, crosshires uh, basic shaders. Now we're gonna install the uh, sweet effects one. So you're gonna double click it, master. You're gonna see that we have the same shader and texture uh, structure. So you're gonna go here to our game folder, reshade shaders and shaders again. We're gonna drop the shaders, Control A, and just drop it here. And same thing with the textures. I'm gonna go one folder back in textures, just drop them right here. And if we click on reload again, we're gonna see there's more shaders. So this is basically the basic uh, installation of reshade, what you get with the basic ones if you don't select any more packages. And if you want to install uh, another pa uh, shader package, uh, this is the bring someone. Uh, this uh, package right here, you can see there's all those shaders. You can navigate to the shaders and textures that he uses. Uh, yep. And we're going to grab the shaders folder again. And we're going to drop it into our uh, shaders. I'm gonna go to the game folder. I'm gonna go. Let me just see. Yeah, I'm recording. I'm gonna go to our shaders. And right now, so to avoid making like a huge mess because we already have a lot of shaders right here, we're gonna do. We're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna name it uh, Brimson. Brimson. And inside that, we're gonna double click and paste all. The shaders right here so for example if you want uh, oh yeah the textures folder we're gonna go one further up and textures and just paste it right here and if we go back to the game and for example we want the motion blur shader 
So Brimson and C motion blur right here. We have the motion blur shader, but if we reload, we're not gonna find the motion blur shader. That's because we didn't set the path for it. So we need to we need to click on the plus button. We need to go to reshade shaders, shaders, and then click on the Brimson folder and click on select. Now reshade is gonna look for that folder as well. And if you go home, go to the home tab, click on reload gonna see that we have more effects now we have motion blur so that's more or less how you install new shaders and yeah you can download as many as many shaders as you want if you want to look on github for uh, reshade shaders you can and yeah uh, hope you have fun with reshade so see ya